Hey everyone, happy Friday. Thank you for joining me here tonight. My name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we make cute embroidery kits for the beginning crafter. And I'm here every weeknight at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. That is 9.30 Eastern and 6.30 Pacific. And it's a time that we can relax and craft together for about an hour. And I work on projects from beginning to end, so you can be part of the whole process along the way, help me out, and uh, work on it too, and just come and chit chat. So thank you guys for popping in here. Starting to see you come in. Uh, so today is Finish It Friday. And that is a day that we set aside other things that we're working on, and we break out one of these unfinished projects that we have hanging out. So we do it every first Friday of the month. And so this is the first Friday of uh, February, which is crazy. It's, it's scooting on by. So, all right. So we are going to work on the I Love Home quilt tonight. It's by Jacqueline Steves. And this was a project I think we worked on a, a little while ago. Um, so I'm going to show you the front. So we have the front of the quilt done. And uh, now I'm going to be working on, on the back a little bit more tonight so we can get this guy done. So, all right, so here is the front. This one we did a lot of embroidery. So I'm gonna stand up on the chair here. So uh, we have several embroidered blocks, actually just, it's four embroidered blocks. Uh, there you can see some more. And uh, then we have this really kind of pretty border around it. Uh, I used colors for this that I never thought would go together. So it was just kind of a fun process for that. There's some of the embroidery. Uh, we looked at embroidery and applique together. So, so I'll show you that when we flip around. Uh, what I have going for the back so far. So for the back, I wanted to use a lot of the scraps from the project and here's my little scrap bin we're getting kind of low on the scraps which is great so for the back uh you can kind of see here i use like i had some extra from that border and uh just some bigger bigger chunks together then you know sewing like improv piecing piles of little little chunks uh there's you know look that gets really small there Got some other little fun improv -y pieces. So it is just a mishmash right now of pieces. And I think uh, what I'd like to do on this is just start sewing some bigger chunks to it um, to really just keep moving this along. I have uh, this left from, um, from my fabric. So there's some that are, you know, like this piece is maybe a little bit smaller than others. I would like to just start getting some of these on, start making this piece bigger. I would love to get it close to the size of this, the front, so we can get this uh, further finished. But I do really like the improv piecing, the really small pieces, so maybe we'll do some of that tonight as well, and I can show you that. So I'm gonna flip you around. I am using my uh, steampunk sewing machine. So this is a sewing machine from the 40s, and uh, uh, I just love it. It has a crinkle matte black finish. It's just so fun. So I'm gonna turn you guys around. There we go. All right, so there's the, the sewing machine. I have the light on right now. We changed out the lights for LED lights, but uh, if you can see, get, get really close, it has like some really cool details on it. Uh, it has a reverse stitch, which is cool. Forward on black, reverse on red. So the number flips here. You can just rotate the, the dial there. There, now it'll, it's red now, so it'll be in reverse. I could leave it on the two forward. So, all right, I uh, wanna get going on this. So let me show you again, kind of where we're at. All right, so here's the front again, just so you can see a little bit closer. So here's all the applique and embroidery we did. That was kind of the fun thing about this project. You could do either applique or embroidery and I really liked the look of the two of them together. So anything that was the home, I did in embroidery and anything that was like florals, I did with, um, 
with the applique, needle turn applique. So this was a big project. It was all needle turn applique. There we are, like each little leaf, each little petal, all needle turn. <laughs> Oh, look, I forgot I did this. Look, I, I wrote J plus A on the on the tree. <laughs> like someone carved that into the tree. Uh, Jennifer, I think she may still have these patterns. So she might be, um, this was her quilt along, like her, I think this was her free quilt along a, a year or two ago. So she may have, um... She may have it for sale now. I would I would take a look at it. So it's Jacqueline Steves. I, I did put the... I put her name here, at least. I think I have the link to the website as well. Um, but it's called the I Love Home quilt. So uh, you can check it out there. And the blocks, the blocks, like these borders, got pro progressively more difficult as we went around. They used half uh, rectangle triangles, which was a little new to me. Um, so that was kind of fun to play with. And then, then again, we have this fun, fun border as well. So I'm, I'm itching to get this done. I would love to do some free motion quilting on it. Like, um, you know, just get kind of fancy in the, in the borders a little bit. Uh, but we are not there yet. Okay, so Robin says that, yes, she has it for sale. Oh my gosh, Bonnie, was it three years ago? Oh, wow. That's just crazy town. That's, that's a good reason to get it out here again. <laughs> All right, and then, oh, here's the back. So for the back, like I said, I, I've just been sewing chunks together. And I can show you um, how to do, how I'm doing the little parts. Like, look, this is, this is super small. It's, you know, really, really small. Some of it's like little salvage pieces. Um, but then I just keep sewing bigger, bigger chunks to it. So I have these kind of like little moments in here. I'm using all the fabrics from the front. I must have had, you know, a strip left over, so sewed that onto there. Um, you know, so there's some more little small parts. I would love to start sewing some bigger chunks on again, kind of like how I have this big chunk going. Um, so I mean, like here's a good edge that I could start sewing something to. Uh, let's see kind of what I have for fabric yet. Um, oh, like here I pulled out this. Let's see how big this is. So what I've been just kind of doing is, okay, I got a chunk of fabric here. What can we do with that? Um, I'll probably press that. But let's see, you know, I could sew it onto this edge here. That'd be awfully pretty, uh, but I need it longer. So it, cause I have like it this far yet. So um, what I could do, I'm gonna move all my cutting stuff here. What I could do is find another piece in my stack here that's about that wide and just attach it to there and just keep adding to the length here. I think that's what we're going to do. All right, let's 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 flip this open. Again, like I said, I just want to kind of add some chunks onto here. Okay, so this is, this is about the same width. Okay, that's good. So why don't we just sew these two together. I'll press them quick too. And then we'll see if we're close to the length that we need. I mean, we got some weird, weird little bits and bobs here that don't quite work. So we'll probably, we could probably cut that off at an angle and then sew a little chunk, a little triangle on the ang on the end. We could probably do that same thing here. Um, we're just literally just keeping on adding to, to these pieces. So let's, let's give this a little press and then let's just start sewing. The idea with improv piecing is is uh, you just sew the things together. <laughs> I'm not going to worry too much about how it's going to look or any of that. I mean, it's going to go with the front no matter what because we are using similar fabrics. So I'm not worried about that. Um, I like the idea that I'm using up this fabric. So I like this. So we'll, we'll sew these two chunks together, see if we can get it as big as that one edge and sew it along that edge. And uh, um, then we'll take care of these weird corners that are cut out. This is pretty little butterflies. Maybe we'll take care of that with some smaller pieces or, or I don't know, maybe we'll sew just two big pieces on. 
And actually, now that I think of it, I don't know, I should see how big this piece is. I think I need to get bigger all the way around yet, so I don't think I need to worry about that too much yet. All right, that's close enough. Maybe it's closer this way. Oh yeah, that's better. Okay, so I'm gonna flip that around and we will just sew those two pieces together. <laughs> that's all there is to it. Then we'll press it open and, or we'll press it, uh, yeah, press it open and then we will, we will try and attach it to this other giant piece. And I actually kind of like working with smaller, I mean, these, this is a pretty big piece. I like working with the itty bitty pieces more because they don't, they don't move around as much. All right, so you'll notice this machine sounds quite a bit different than, than my other machine. It's, it's got a real motor going here. And I'm just guessing at my quarter inch right now. It doesn't matter so much for this improv piecing. This machine gets like great little stitches though. <laughs> it's a monster. I like it. All right, I'm gonna grab the end of this leader and throw it on here. So I still have not brought the other machine to to the shop. Uh, maybe I'll get to that next week. But we can use we can use this guy for a while too. Haven't used haven't used him for a while. All right, let's see what we got now. The seam allowance is a little bit big, but oh well. Let's try that again. I feel like I'm backwards. Here we'll go up and then down. All right, now we have a bigger piece of fabric. <laughs> so now these two fabrics I would have never thought to put together, but that's kind of the fun of all this, doing, um, doing things a little differently, and uh, eventually it'll all work together. You know, it doesn't have to be square, it doesn't have to be anything. Oh, Robin, you got your bundle today, yay! Oh, you guys, for the, um, I still have like eight or so of the embroidery of the month bundles around. Um, so if you did want one of those, there's just eight left and there's still time to get it before we start, um, start stitching. So you might want to take a look at that um, before, they're, before they're gone. All right, I think we're almost there. I'm just laying this with the bottom I don't have a large workspace here, so with these larger pieces, it gets a little more crazy. I think we still need to add a little bit to the top here. Oh yeah, we gotta add like a, there you can see, we have to add like just a, a little inch strip or so. So let's see if we have something like that. Maybe we have something like that in in our scrap bin. So like literally just like a little bit on top. I know I had some kind of strips in here. Oh, there we go. So why don't we, we'll just attach, attach this to the top and I think we'll be good to go. Uh, and it's only gonna, it's only gonna go, you know, to here. Cause remember we do have this weird chunk out. So you know what? I might even trim it already. We'll just snip it right there. You know, we have, maybe this piece would help, you know, kind of fill in these corners a little bit. We could maybe use that later. All right, so now after I add, so on this piece, it's probably gonna be long enough to sew onto that whole edge. So that's all we're trying to do. We're just trying to make the fabric bigger until it matches up with another side. Uh, <laughs> that is all. All right, let's do this. Okay. 
Get that motor running. I might actually clip, uh, like with the wonder clips, I might clip um, the big pieces together just just because they are larger now. It might make it a little bit easier. Uh-oh, you guys. <laughs> Well, that didn't last long. I am out of bobbin already. Boo! All right, let's see if I can figure out how to do a bobbin in here. This has a little bit different bobbin situation that I'm used to. All right, we can pop it out. Little button here. Oh, there's some on here yet. Okay, let's, this might have had it might have had it doubled up in here. Okay, I'm gonna just try and get, it looks like I it was wound around something that was already there. So I'm gonna just try and use that some more. How to figure out how to use this bobbin case again though. I'm guessing I go through here. Oh, this could be a situation if I can't figure this out. It, I know it goes through here somehow. Hold on, let me move the camera for a sec here so I can see a little bit better. Because it needs the tension up here. Oh, here we go. It looks like there's a bit that goes through here. All right, if you guys know how to do this, let me know too, because I am way less familiar with this style of bobbin. Somehow I need to get it in here though. Oh, you broke down and changed the needle in your machine today. You had been putting it off. Oh, that's, that's good, Leslie. Yeah, I think I might need to do that with the other machine too yet. Okay, how does this work? It has to get in here All right. Well, we're not going to get far tonight if I can't figure this out, you guys. We could get the other machine out and try that again. This might require, oh, I kind of could see, it gets way underneath there. Yeah, I don't, not sure I have the manual for this either. Oh, your feed dogs are working again. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. I gotta get that going on my side here too. needs to get down in there, but how do I get it down in there? I know, I, I, I've I YouTubed it in the past, and I do actually, uh, <laughs> I used to know how to do this, but um, it is a little bit different than I'm used to. Um, my other one, I'm going to just try and do it this way to get it down underneath here. Okay, wait, but I did it the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it now, hold on. Oh, you know what? It's not going through one of these holes either. Does it have to go through there? You really don't have to thread it. Doesn't it just thread up? Um, well, it goes through, it goes through this little guy here. You know what? I think I have to thread it through here because then it'll be in the right position. Let's give that a try. <laughs> All right, get in there. I think this might solve the problem here. Down. 
There we go. Okay. I'm in there now. All right. Oh, but it just totally broke. So maybe that's what was happening before. Maybe it just got stuck. Yeah, this isn't coming off at all. You know what? That might be why I originally went over this. Um, maybe this is just not coming off well in general. Let's try the other direction. This is what Finish It Fridays are for, figuring this out. Oh, someone gave you three bobbins that look like this. Yeah, this is uh, definitely different than the other style. All right, I don't think it goes through that hole because it's it's not moving at all when I do that. So let's go back to here. I just need to get it to reach underneath here. I'm going to try and do it off the thing. The little S shape on the side. I know I but I can't I can't figure out how to get it down through there with that. <laughs> oh man, it's just sort of one of those days. So like, I think I wrap it through there, but then I still have to get underneath here and slide it up. All right, I'm in, there we go. All right, and it moves. <laughs> All right, I think we did it. Okay, let's get it back in here. All right, I think we're good. Oh, and I have to go forward on this one to get the thread. Okay, there we go. I can see it come around. Whew, we are threaded here. Okay, I think we are good to go again. Until I forget how to do that one again, I think we're fine. All right. Let's get back to this guy. I think I'll just start stitching like here. All right. <laughs> I think we're good. Let's see. It's stitching. <laughs> okay, good. We're fine. All right, let me get another leader started here. And, um, and we did it. <laughs> okay. Phew, close one there. Let's check the stitches uh, just to make sure, but I think they are looking pretty good. Once this thing does get sewing, like its stitches are just perfect. Like some of these old mechanical, mechanical machines. Yeah, just perfect. They were, yeah, awesome, awesome machines. Okay, back in business. Let's give this a press uh, and then we will attach it to that long edge. That'll be a huge chunk added on. That's going to be wonderful. Definitely getting it further along. So, you know, the nice thing with these Finish It Friday days is, well, first of all, it's only one day a month, right? One hour a month, these Finish It Fridays. But I've kind of found that every time I've worked on a Finish It Friday. I've kept the project out and kind of going and uh, uh, it has helped me get it done. So almost every Finish It Friday project I've I've um, worked on here, I've, I've finished up. All right, I am gonna just um, clip these on just because this is just a long floppy side. This is just gonna help me keep all the edges together more easily. Then we'll have one big chunk on here. Oh, this is almost a seam that mat matches up. Not quite, but close. What way are we pressed there? 
No way, really. Okay. Oh, Bonnie, that's good. <laughs> yeah, those are, uh, you know, you get the mechanics of them a little after a while, but man, when the, they look different, again, when they look, when a piece looks different, then it just gets a little confusing again. All right, we're a little shy here. I might, um, I might just add some more of that white strip on really quick uh, before I get too far on this. And I think I'm gonna trim, trim this away too. We'll just go like that. And um, yeah, I'm gonna just quickly sew some of this white on. And uh, this white will be a little too much, but I think, I think it'll be just a nice extra touch at the bottom, at the bottom here. And I don't, I don't even think I'm gonna iron it. It needs it, but. Um, we'll just stitch it on and then press it. So I'm going to stop uh, clipping right now really quick to sew this on. Right sides together. And uh, then I suppose I should press it. I don't, I don't even think I'm going to press it. I'm going to just finger press it. And then uh, we'll finish clipping the rest of the way. Just to make it a little longer. It wasn't quite long enough like I thought it was going to be. I'm sewing with the big piece on top just because it's positioned easier right now to do it that way. This machine's cooking. All right, get another leader. The nice thing about all this improv piecing, if you are um, sewing with leaders, like at the beginning and the end, uh, and you're doing like the fun extra project, like like all these squares that I'm doing here, this is a whole nother project that is just going to be done because I'm sewing it as we work on other projects. Uh, but something like this, the improv piecing will definitely get you farther with these leaders. Okay, now let's finish clipping the rest of the way here. Okay, then we'll get this long row in and we'll press it and see where we're at now. It does sound like a lawnmower. I mean, it, it's, it's got a big old motor on it. I'm gonna just clip that seam down and we'll sew right over it, okay. Let's do it. Yeah, I think this is just too small all around compared to the front of the quilt yet, so um, I'm just gonna uh, keep adding to it. I can always, if I get, since it's improv piecing, if I get it too big on one side, like I accidentally make it, made it grow too much, um, the, the quilt, I can always just cut it off and add it to a different edge. So I'm not too worried about that. Especially on my, on my little table here, it's hard to see, to compare it to the front. This one smells like a motor a little bit too. <laughs> kind of fun. I feel like this machine could sew through anything though. I just love the sound it makes. <laughs> this one I did have to look up how to thread it though because it threads on the side too. It has like this hole uh, on the side plate here um, with the tension is all different than what I'm used to too. So everything is different on on this machine and took me a little while to get used to. And, and I, I've YouTube stuff. I think I might have the manual printed out somewhere, but man, that bobbin, that just threw me for a loop there. I think I got it for next time though. I just have to, just have to remember it now. Oh, that's true. I could hand quilt this. Um, originally, 
This was before I had done any machine quilting. So after this, we must have done the uh, um, Charming Chevrons quilt, which is the one that I kind of learned how to free motion quilt on. And I was kind of saving this project for when I knew how to free motion quilt so I could get, um, so I could get a uh, kind of fancier with this one, like feathers all around and that sort of thing. Um, so I, I think I still might try that. I might, I know that was my original intention. I think I might stick to that yet. All right, we are cut. Let's uh, press this, see where we're at. Get my scraps out of the way. Again, this is just a small space to be doing this when it, once it grows this large. Oop, there we go. Okay, I think I'm gonna press the whole seam first just to kind of set set it. Uh, and then I will press it open. We're, we're getting some bulk on this though. Look, we got like another foot of fabric on here. Um, it doesn't all have to be teeny tiny improv piecing. Um, you know, we can add these big chunks to it. Oh, I'm gonna press this seam a little bit now too because this was um, that seam that I didn't press when I just needed to add a little bit more fabric on. There we go. Oh, that's a good idea. I should take a picture of the bobbin so I rem remember how I did it. Yeah, I, I think I might just, um, I'll have to find that. I think I did print out the manual. Uh, maybe I'll just have to like tape it somewhere, tape it close to here or just have it available. All right, it's gonna start to look pretty cute. I like that um, on the bottom here, some of it blended into the next, uh, a similar fabric or the same fabric, but from a different block area. Oh, funny, like we got this, I must have had salvage here. So we have like a really thin little strip of white on this, which is kind of fun. You get all sorts of little discoveries when you improv piece. And I'm definitely not caring about salvages, which, you know, can be a problem, but um, it's not too bad. See, we got a little sliver, sliver there. Okay, so that's a nice big chunk added to this. Yay, quilt is bigger. All right, so we need to figure out what to do next. I think I want to take care. Oh, we're definitely smaller than than everywhere else. I kind of want to take care of this funny um, bit right here. Um, let's see what we have for... Oh look! We have a random a random piece that we started here. We could add to this. You know, and I don't even need to do straight seams. I mean, we could do a curved seam and attach it like that. That would be pretty intense, but it'd be kind of fun. What else do we got hiding in here? Just some smaller yeah these are just these are all like kind of the larger pieces yet um so let's see what we have in the little bag here i mean i could add a couple strips of this or oh this looks like we have something started too so here's a square what we could do is cut this and get like a triangle going and then this could be a triangle. We'd have to make it a whole lot bigger, but we could, you know, add stuff to it. Uh, we also have this bottom, bottom chunk. So here, this might work. Cut this in half and sew along the edge there. So then it would end up being kind of like that. That might be kind of fun. Why don't we try this first, just because I think it'll be, be a little bit easier, and then we'll do that curve on top. That could be kind of interesting. We'll add a couple of these strips to here, maybe, just to make it bigger, and then try and do a curve. Uh, <laughs> uh, don't do that very often, but that'd be kind of fun. But this one, I think, would be neat to see if we can get a... Um, well, here, I, I mean, here, really, we could do a curve, too. So, um, let's see. Let's see if I can remember how to do that. So, what we can do is cut them um, at the same 
place right here. Actually, let's get the let's get the big scissors out. I'm gonna just cut. I'm gonna cut that separately first. So let's cut this just into a curved shape. All right. So there we kind of have a curve. And now let's see. How do we do this again? I think I can just um, cut the same curve, can't I? And then uh, um, get them together. Or we might have to have a little bit more seam allowance. Let's ju let's just see. I think I think if we cut them the same, it'll be okay. Let's just do that. It won't be perfect, I don't think, because I'm not adding that extra quarter inch, but I think it'll be fine. I'm gonna just let that be up to the top there, like that. Okay, so kind of like this. Um, let's just um, fold it over and start. And we're going to just kind of match these edges together with some clips and see how it goes. Right side together and follow the edge of the gray, then trim. Okay, so, so kind of like what we did. I think. All right, so I'm just going to keep clipping, rotating, and clipping these edges together. I think this will do the job. <laughs> oh man, I'm opening a whole can of worms of stuff I don't usually do today here, people. Um, I haven't improv pieced in a while. I haven't changed that bobbin <laughs> in a long time. I couldn't remember how to do that. And Man, even getting this machine out again, I haven't sewn with this machine. And I haven't stitched on this project for a while. We are throwing it all in here. Haven't done these curves. But all right, I think, I think this will do the job, right? So I'm going to just uh, do it. Oh, I should have had the right sides, both of the si right sides up. Is that how? Well, this will work too. Good enough. But yeah, I know there's a, a way to do this a little bit better, and <laughs> I know that I'm probably not doing that. So Arlo, you say you should have right sides together. Both of the right sides? Oh, and then, okay, I don't know. We'll have to figure that out for the next one, the top one, because I want to do that as a curve too. All right, let's give this a go. So I'm just going to have to pay attention to, or let's get, the, get this guy out. He's going to help me. All right. I just want to try to not have it get all bunched underneath. So let's remove these clips. Hopefully this works. <laughs> uh, it'll be one of those nights. So now this should just kind of lay flat after I unfold it, unless I totally did it wrong, which could, which could be a situation, but oh well. Oh there, no, so that kind of worked. I did kind of get a little bunched up here, but you know, I didn't pin or do anything all that well. Um, but there, <laughs> kind of works, right? So let's give that a press. It's improv piecing. It can be a little goofy like that. And the nice thing too with improv piecing, if you do have a little bit like that, you can actually just kind of add a little like tuck to it and then sew over that piece again. But I think once we sew that to another piece, we'll be, we'll be fine. I'm just going to keep pressing. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> so now all we have to do really is let's just square it off. Uh, I'm just going to kind of cut up to the line here. So now we'll be able to sew another piece on and the same thing here. We'll just trim. Now we now it's kind of square. <laughs> all right. So I mean, it's not that square, but uh, once we sew another piece on, it'll be good to go. So that's that'll be kind of like a fun little weird blip in this quilt. All right, let's try and even out that top because this one's kind of crazy too, but I like that idea. Let's do a um, another little, yes, press into submission, exactly. That is the plan for sure. Um, I'm sure there's enough other weird things going on that, that uh, on in this back of this quilt that, you know, one little mini pleat in there. I'm sure people won't even see it. All right, so this one I do need to add quite a bit. So let's just add, let's start by just cleaning this completely up by adding just one of these little white strips. I think I'm just going to, well, now we'll, we'll trim it. Actually, I'm going to trim it kind of down like that because then maybe we can get some of that angle in. Then we'll find some other pieces to sew onto there. We got some other big pieces in the mix, but here I'm gonna, um, you know, right now actually I could clip this edge. All right, now I got a straight edge. So these, I'll sew that two together. We'll see what that gets us. I just like the idea that we're using up all these tiny pieces. All right, good enough. Let's get another leader out here. I'm gonna run out of these guys soon. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, that's true. It'll go away in the quilting. And, you know, once this is washed and stuff, it'll all loosen up a little. Oh, the hair. Ooh, my cutting board's in the way there. Okay, so now it's a little bit bigger. Not big enough to do this curve. We still need a big chunk on there. Let's see what we got hiding in here yet. This is pretty large. Oh, this is a pretty good corner to begin with. Maybe we could have just show, sewed, uh, sewed this on here. Maybe we sew, we, maybe we make this triangle just bigger. There we go. That that could make it bigger. And then we could... Oh, it's not quite big enough. <laughs> could go like... Oh wait, it would be... Like this, maybe. I don't know. I kind of like where we are going with this curve. So let's let's think of that still. What else do we have in here? We have another big piece. Maybe it's time to use this piece. Yeah, that could go on the end there. I think that would make this shape just big enough for our little our little curve. And that's pretty. Let's do that. It's just big enough though. Um, we may need to add um, actually, let's do that. Uh, let's sew this onto here. I think we'll be we'll definitely be wide enough then. Um, but then I think I think we might want to add more to the top. So we'll add this to the top, and then we will have a big enough chunk to like curve this out, and then this can be the curve that goes back in. Sound good? <laughs> kind of totally Frankensteining this together. Yes, jigsaw puzzle for sure. But it's just totally play and going with whatever it happens. And that being the point, you know?
It's a good exercise in just figuring it out. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's supposed to look all like this. Alright, let's press this. It's getting done. <laughs> we are using up pieces, we are uh, moving along, that's for sure. I mean, obviously, I could have just sewn these big pieces together and made the back really quickly, but I don't know. I really do like using up all the little parts uh, that made up the quilt. It, it is just kind of fun. But yeah, I do think we need... I think we need a little bit, just for some extra leeway. I'm not, I don't trust that that's enough up there. So let's, what I do with that right here. And I'm going to actually just trim right away as well. Make that straight. And I like that you don't have to use a rotary cutter even. Just get that edge cut with the scissors and you're fine. All right. Let's sew that. Crazy. Yeah, this is mega crazy quilting. We are super crazy. I mean, I think it just really looks so fun though and I just love that feeling of knowing that every little small piece is in there and you know this fabric won't be in any other my quilts because it's gonna be all used up here you know this is its place in the world which is just kind of neat I like that oh gosh I need another leader right away see we're gonna really use these up you guys yeah I, I'm really liking how this is looking too and what's funny is that it's so different than the front so you can either have like this organized chaos back or you can have it on the like perfectly uh, everything in its place front which is uh, just you know so whatever mood you're in you know Leslie and it, it really is relaxing I mean that's why I keep doing it this is one of I think the most relaxing uh, things that I've been um, this um, improv piecing. So you guys, I, uh, I'm i just checking the time. Oh gosh, it's already almost 9.30. So we'll get this on. I'm almost out of batteries on my phone. I'm still dealing with dealing with this phone stuff. Oh, do I do right sides together here? Oh, is that what? No, I can't do right sides together because it's, it's, um, it's a curve. It wouldn't let me really do that. So, uh, I think I do kind of cut these at once, though. I mean, really, it should have that quarter-inch seam allowance, shouldn't it? I don't know. This is confusing. I haven't done this in a while, obviously. Turn it over. Oh, like... I can't turn it over, though, because then my circles are weird. Like, it has to be like, like this when you cut it, because it's a curve. I'm just going to wing it. We're doing it this way. I'm going to cut both of these shapes at the same time so it'll have a similar curve. It's a pretty tight curve. Like it's not, it's kind of like an L really. All right. There. Well, see, right sides together, it'll, it would be like this. Because we got that crazy curve going. So that's kind of like a main point right here where it, that weird big dip. So let's just keep crawling up this edge. If these were more like just graceful, nice arcs, then, you know, it wouldn't quite matter so much. Um... where, you know, I, I probably wouldn't even have to pin. But because I do need that weird um, dip to be in the right spot, I am going to clip them. Yeah, I think this is, I think, uh, I think, uh, I think I've seen it done this way before. <laughs> where you cut, where you layer them both and, and cut them at the same time. I mean, technically, I think 
it's not totally right because I do, they wouldn't match up perfectly because of, um, it needs a, a quarter inch on either side, but in a pinch, this will work. It's not perfect. It's not going to match up perfectly, but in a weird improv -y thing like this, it's going to do the job. I'll just, it'll just hang over a little bit weird and not be totally perfect, but, oh, uh, well. All right, let's give that a go. We kind of have a straight edge on it first. This is another messy, messy way of working. I got a whole piles of bits and pieces everywhere again. Okay. I'm excited to see what this one looks like. This is a whole pile of little bits that we put together here, wasn't it? Got two little curves in this quilt. Weird little curved corners. Uh, when we're done here tonight, I will, um, this is gonna be the last piece just because we might run out of batteries, but I will um, show you, I'll, if, I'll try and show you it um, with me holding it again so we can see the whole thing. Again, we are going to work on our filming system here. Uh, so all this weird Facebooky stuff that I've been dealing with lately and this phone stuff, I'm hoping all that is going to go away. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. So <laughs> hopefully by Monday we'll be good. Ugh, I'm hoping I'm not getting any uh, kinks in here again, any little uh blips but we might be oh well all right yeah we are almost out of batteries so um uh, let's flip this around really quick all right, you guys, I, my screen went a little dark, so I just wanted to show you. Let's see. All right. So here are the two sides. That's crazy. And then this side, this little side here. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try and trim that quickly here, but I just wanted to share it with you guys in case we do. Uh, leave here. So I'll flip you around one more time, but um, I'm going to say bye here <laughs> and we'll get a few extra little seconds here, I'm thinking. So I hope you guys have a fabulous um, weekend. I think this turned out really cool. I'm going to try and press it quick. Let's see if we can get this all flattened out and then... Uh, um, then we'll trim it so it's square with the rest. But dang, we should do more curves. I think I think we're gonna have to. This is neat. Um, the next time we work on this, whenever that is, since this is our Finish It Friday project. All right, so I'm gonna just kind of run up the edge here. So we can use this piece for something else in here too, which is great. There we go. And then this is just like a little clipped off. There, look how that cleaned it up. How fun. <laughs> I love how it's just offset a little bit there and this funny little white bit. And that these are all these tiny pieces, tiny, tiny, tiny little pieces that, oh God, look at that, the tiniest little piece. But yeah, we did this whole big chunk. So awesome, you guys. I am going to see you later then. Have a fabulous weekend. Good night.